Welcome to FabLab Brooks laser cutter room. Before you start laser cutting, we want you to read those simple guidelines up here. Um, and uh, then the most important thing is that you watch this fire safety video. If you don't know how to laser cut, then you can follow the manuals we have over here. In this video, we want to uh, show you how the lasers can start a fire and how you can put that fire out. The lasers often start a fire by running at a slow speed and with a high power. And, and we have experienced bigger fires because of people that leave the machines unattended. So never in any circumstances leave the machines alone. Depending on the size of the fire, there's different approaches to putting the fire out. If the fire is very small, you can simply put out the fire by pressing the pause button on the laser cutter and wait a little time. In this example, the machine starts a fire with a low speed and a high power setting. The fire is bigger than normal, so if the fire doesn't stop when you press the pause button, then stomp on the material like so. If the fire is getting bigger and you can't put it out by stomping a method, then you need to use the CO2 fire extinguisher. You use the CO2 fire extinguisher by pulling out this safety pin and then you point the nozzle to the material and press this handle. If the fire is completely out of control and you have tried with the CO2 fire extinguisher, then you need to use this one. It's the foam fire extinguisher and it's super effective, uh, so it will put out the fire, but it will also ruin our machines. You use this uh, foam fire extinguisher the same way as the CO2 fire extinguisher, by pulling out the safety pin, pointing the nozzle to the material, and pressing the handle. If the situation is completely out of control, you need to call 112 immediately. If the fire extinguisher was used, then you need to inform the staff of FabLab uh, about the incident. Please don't start a fire and have fun with the laser cutters. <laughs>